about time you got back. What are you doing here? I wanted to visit you. What for? And pass up this wonderful opportunity to spend some time with you. Enjoy the woods, live off the land. Well, these are my fish. Oh, don't worry. I'm not hungry. <laughs> yeah, you never really liked fish much, did you? Yep. So how long you been up here? A few weeks. A few weeks now? Huh. What? Just wondering what could be so interesting to keep you up here that long. Not like you haven't been up here many times before, especially when you were growing up. So what's on your mind, Richard? Now what makes you say that? You're here now. You don't like me here? What do you want? Why else would a brother be here? I never know with you. I love these little moments. I bet you do. So what brings you up here? Does there always have to be a reason with you? You working or you on an extended vacation? In between jobs. How's mom? She's fine. Well, what's she been up to? Same old stuff, you know. Shopping, cooking, cleaning, taking care of Rusty. Best dog around. And dad? Also the same. Passes out every night, mom has to clean up after him. Why are you asking about things you ought to know? <laughs> family is family, am I right? I've got a right to ask. Especially because I can't go back. You know why. Perhaps we should talk about something else. Uh, up to you. How's Linda? How do you think she's doing? Well... She's better. Better? Now that she's with you? Yeah. So how did you do it? Do what? Well, get her back. Funny you should ask. She found out you weren't man enough for her. Is that so? That's right. She needed some comfort. And I gave it to her. My loss must have hit hard. Not at all. You know, little by little, she realized that I was the right man for her. In fact, I don't think she's missing you at all. Then why hide out here if she's all of that to you? Not hiding? Oh, of course you are. She should be right here, camping with you. I'm just taking a break. <laughs> a break? Or maybe she found out how much of a pussy you, you really are. You shut your mouth! Or what? You're gonna steal something else I'm close to? You've always had that anger in you, Tommy. Well, those fish aren't going to cook themselves. You're all out of firewood.
Welcome back. Struck a nerve, didn't I? You giving me the silent treatment. Exactly how long do you think you can ignore me? The truth hurts, doesn't it? Can't get rid of me that easy. You know, you might be the smartest in the family, but you don't know everything. But enough. Especially your kindling. Your sticks are too big. You're a pest. Runs in the family. Just trying to help. No paper, no pine needles. Need more oomph to start your fire. Yeah. That's why I use Boy Scout juice. You eat that like it's your last meal. I'm hungry. I didn't get to fish yesterday. I haven't eaten. Maybe you should head into town and get some more supplies. No, I'm good. What? I don't know. Did you hear something? Well, what do you think it is? I don't know. Look around, Tommy. There's nobody here but us. Bringing out the big guns, huh? Well, I'm still gonna protect myself. From what? You're paranoid. So you didn't hear the twig break? We're in a forest, for crying out loud. There's gonna be a few twigs breaking. Yeah, and someone could be watching, too. Watching us? Do you even hear yourself? Who would care that you're out here? Yeah, see? There it was again. I heard it. Who's there? You playing games? I'm just sitting right here. Why are you here? Well, it's like you said, I'm a pest. What do you want from me? Well, why? Have you taken something else? Tell me. Tell me! Whoa, we come in peace. Oh, hello. Hi, are we disturbing something? No, not really. Well, um, we saw you from a distance. We thought we'd say hello. Um, I'm Kyle and this is Julia. I'm Tom. And I'm Richard. Do you camp here often? All the time, in fact. I know this place very well. Excellent. Uh, we like to check out new spots, and uh, we wanted to see this place for ourselves. Where from? Oregon. Far from home, then. Yeah, as I said, we like to go to new spots, uh, but uh, we're like never home, it seems, so. So, Tom, being that you know this area, do you know any good places to go? Well, about two miles. You're gonna find a spring to refill those canteens, and then further there's a river. It's close to an area that's great for making camp. The area is very beautiful, especially this time of year for backpacking. That sounds wonderful. Oh, it is. Uh, there's even a hot spring that I believe the two of you could enjoy. No? We didn't bring swimming suits. Oh, you wouldn't need swimsuits. You'd have the place all to yourselves. You could even make love, and no one would hear you. Uh, I take it not many hikers come here then. Yeah, that's the thing. 
beautiful place, but not a lot of folks come out here. It's a shame. It is really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, uh, something could happen and uh, uh, no one would hear you. Town isn't for miles. Um, well, uh, we better get going. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Well, you two seem like a, a fine couple. Well, we've been together for five years. Well, let me offer you a bit of friendly advice. You treat her like a queen. Don't let her ever out of your sights. Don't let her get away. She's quite the catch. <laughs> Well, we, we better be heading now. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you know, just sometimes when I say things, they don't come out right. You you two have a great time. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Yeah, thanks. All right, bye. Bye. Was that necessary? Aw, uh, don't you agree, Tom? Good looking. Surprised you didn't mention that couple that disappeared here a while back. A couple? Don't you remember? About two years ago. Came up here and up and vanished. Well, I don't remember, but I'm sure you're going to remind me. Well, the official police report is they were a couple of out-of-towners, last seen at Willard's Market, getting food and supplies. They didn't even camp less than three miles from here. Then they just up and disappeared campsite completely left untouched, dude. Well, did they ever find him? Well, Dad helped with the search for about a week, but no results. This sounds familiar. Is this the thing they tried to peg on Mr. Clemens? Yeah, but they didn't have enough evidence to convict. You see, he had an airtight alibi. He was with his family the whole time. Well, do you believe him? Actually, I do. Always given the benefit of the doubt. Innocent until proven guilty, isn't that what they always say? Yeah, he's a nice guy and all, but can't judge a book by its cover neither. True. It can be very difficult to judge a book by its cover. Accurately. Do you remember Zach from high school? I mean, he was a straight shooter. He graduated with honors, you know, a scholarship athlete. And then he goes and turns 21, gets himself drunk, burns the Peterson's barn down, kills the Prastellion, you never know. Yeah. How long he get sentenced? Possibly three to seven years. Is he out yet? I don't know. I don't care. None of this involves me. Now where are you going? Do I need your permission to use the bathroom now? Oh, look at that. Want to set up camp right there? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, there's that. Sleeping bags are all set up. Good. Oh my gosh. You know, there's no one around for miles. <laughs> Except for Tom. True. Didn't he seem a little bit off to you? Yeah, but there's always going to be someone like that in the midst of all the hicks. But what did he mean about treating me like a queen and never letting me out of your sight? Yeah, that was a little weird. But there is truth to that. Treat a woman with respect and she'll do anything for you. Anything? Give a woman a box of chocolates and she'll do backflips. And you know that chocolate's my weakness? Yes. Do you have any chocolate? No. I guess I won't be doing anything for you then. <laughs> uh-huh. So do you want to see the sights or do you want to make some sounds? Actually, I'm a little hungry. Okay. I'm going to go fill up our canteen at the river over there. And then I'm going to come back and make you a gourmet dinner. And then let's have some fun afterwards. All right. I'll read a chapter in my book. Okay, sounds good. I'll be right back. I'll be gone for you. Oh, I won't.
Kyle? Check on my neighbors. Have you seen Kyle? Nope. Something wrong? It's just a little weird that you're out here. I I need to find Kyle. I can help you find him. That's okay. He's probably around here somewhere. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stories about people getting lost around here. Really? I guess that's why not so many people come around these parts. You weren't supposed to see that. You killed him? I warned him not to let you out of his sight. We haven't done anything to you. Don't do this, Tom. Stay out of this, Richard. <laughs> oh, I don't think she gets it. <laughs> it won't matter. You're crazy. <laughs> Tom! Her alone. She's not Linda. Stop tormenting me! you do that. You see, I've got to show you that there's only one person in your life now, and that's me. You're crazy, Tom. <laughs> it must be true. Don't do this, Tom. You stay out of this. You killed me over a girl, and now you're killed again for another. When's it gonna stop, Tom? <laughs> Shut up! She needs to be treated like a queen.
There's only one that can treat her rat. <laughs> But in the end, you're just a murderer. Shut up! Can't shut me up this time, Tommy. I know! You remind me day in and day out. That's the nice part about being dead. There ain't nothing else you can do about it. And I can haunt you as long as it takes till you're taken care of. You think you're man enough to stop me? I stopped you once. Never did know what she saw in you. Don't you move! You know what I think? I think Linda never really did love you. I think she pitied you. What did you say? There was a time she told me she was sorry we was even brothers. She said you had no job, no life, and deep down she was glad to have broken up with you that first time. That's enough out of you, Richard! Not this time, Tommy. And as for Linda, I know she's not really with you. You never really could love her the way I did. That's why you had to kill her too. Huh? I loved her. You didn't love her, Tommy. It was an obsession that has led you down a road that will lead you straight to hell. Ah!